it all paid off so much. You went above and beyond the full mile on this. How absolutely glorious. I was absolutely ecstatic when I realized the sheer lengths you were going to for this. I was expecting maybe a single picture, perhaps two panels if that heavily rendered like those other aluminum deliveries had been. But this approach takes heavy advantage of the power of shrinking, something you tend to avoid most of the time. So it's even better. That Matilda last week was uh, pretty high up there on my interests, to say the least. I think my word count there made that apparent. So getting an even more intense shrinking process with tons of crazy perspectives present, including several that are less nutty but still just as great. I mean, when is Pav ever not pure quality? The very following week is a dream come true. And with full color, the icing on top that I wasn't expecting whatsoever after the comic itself got done. It's not full, full polish, but it becomes closer in the later panels, and your flats have always looked the best to me, anyhow, under standard circumstances. So the view of aluminum before shrinking too heavily looks great to me. The line art being cleaned up sketch lines is a little noticeable, but honestly, your sketches have always been far more readable compared to most, and it really isn't a big deal. You should use that technique more often. Look how nuttily fast you knock this one out, despite how much drawing was involved. Putting extra emphasis on aluminum's naturally short stature is adorable, especially for the purposes of what's to come next. The only panel in which she's looking up at the viewer, ha ha ha. The way she talks so down to business in this comic is great. Aluminum's cadence is superb for such a sheer overtaken scale. So nonchalant and factual the whole time, even while one's reduced to a mere speck underneath her socked toe. Quite small is an understatement. Ah ha 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 ha. Just as soon as one can look her in the eye, their perspective shifts to a light pav that only becomes more and more intense as time goes on. And she even insists that only going a little low isn't enough and that you need to continue shrinking. Excellently cute, less than period, less than greater than period, greater than period. The way that her stance isn't perfectly straight keeps the view interesting. One foot a little forward and her hips shifted a tad to have that happen is nearly imperceptible at normal size. It looks like any other way of standing straight. Dead on view especially makes it hard to read, yet you can still see it just a smidge. However, it's not like that particular view lasts for long, as said. But as the size of the viewer plummets downwards, that small difference in how she's standing suddenly makes a big difference. The way her legs tower up above becomes very different, and her foot in front starts to become all that one can see, eating up more and more attention until it's all-encompassing, blocking out even the slightest hint of aluminum above just by being there. Your only friends down there are the adorable stitches on her dark socks, the attention paid to which is fairly surprising. Not only is it nicely patterned in the line art, but the shading draws particular attention to them as well. Speaking of, you were totally prepping your recent string of excellently rendered sock shading as practice for this moment. Had to have been how it went, clearly. And to further an earlier note, the way even the edge of the line art of the socks themselves begins to become detailed with stitching is an even further boon to how you drew all this up. Something important about perspective that I think a lot of people miss is that, yeah, you can have a large body part up close, but it's being able to see the rest of them, or what you can at least, that further makes it insane.
like the fact that it's attached to someone and you can see just how huge they are because a bit of them is up close and blown up yet the rest of their lumbering form is off in the distance this comic captures that perfectly since even when aluminum sock foot is overtaking the viewer you still have count text for the rest of her as the angle at which her legs and body are viewed gradually winds up sheerly vertical by the way aluminum sweater only garb in your variants of her design is genius for pav yo get pantsu straight away as soon as you go down below looking her in the eye and it remains a constant all the way until the toe wins out Funny how Alunum says she'll stop looking at you right before her head stops being in frame. Ha ha ha. It does make for one heck of a view near the end, though. That straight onward look of hers does make for a fantastic pseudo unaware sight. Completely unnoticeable down there, dwarfed by any given toe digit all the way down to the smallest one. Her body's so warped by the angle that her whole sweater only takes up a fraction of the view, despite being so enormous by comparison, simply off the sheer distance involved, and her floppy ears hang overhead, making it all the cuter. The only true loss here is that the Matilda comic had that spectacular use of blown-up dialogue rumbling all around, whereas Aluminum's last statement here is simply a normal text, despite the utterly insane difference in size, and she stops talking for the most part once you start shrinking enough. Granted, the unaware thing is true. Still, when you weigh that up versus so, so many beautifully drawn paws from various perspectives, not too big of a deal. Your perspective prowess got to fully shine and spread their wings here. All of the views are so spot on and fantastic. I'm going to continue envying that skill you have of knowing just how to handle pov legs. Thanks so much again for drawing this up. My dead wrist says thank you too. I called a medium.